Let's take a look at some of our national and international headlines for Tuesday, August 1st, 2017. The demand for the internationalization of holy sites in Saudi Arabia is being considered an act of war, according to the Saudi foreign minister. This from suggestions from Qatar, allegedly, claiming that these, these holy sites in Saudi Arabia, Mecca, and Medina, should be turned into international control zones, much as you have in Israel. Nine people were hurt as a van plowed into a crowd of people eating outside a restaurant in Los Angeles over the weekend, leaving one man in critical condition. They are still investigating the cause of the accident. No word on whether it's being considered a terror incident. The Kremlin notes that political will is going to be essential to ending the sanctions and improving ties with the United States. This as Congress has voted to put new sanctions on Russia. And Moscow has responded by cutting U.S. diplomatic personnel in Russia by 755 people. Mike Pence, the vice president, says that Russia is the biggest threat to the Baltic states. And there's a new crackdown happening in the Palestinian territories in an attempt to silence journalists. That's according to a number of media watchdog groups. And it's not the Israelis that are doing the crackdown. It is the actual Palestinian authorities themselves. Enduring changes to air travel are expected in Australia following the latest terror plot, which was uncovered and cracked down on over the weekend. And four men are now in custody following those plot raids. And a snap combat readiness check going on right now in Russia's eastern military district is involving about 8,000 personnel. In Venezuela, Maduro has claimed a victory in the latest election. As the opposition is crying foul, basically this is an election that the opposition says should never have happened in the first place. And the government is claiming a 41% turnout, which the opposition says there's no possible way that the number could be that high because the opposition didn't even take part. They boycotted it. That'll be the subject of my commentary today. Al Jazeera carries a story on North Korea's missile tests and three things that are important to know about it. First of all, the, the altitude issue. They've stopped firing trajectories that go more toward a target and more straight up because, of course, it's a small country and anything going out is going to be going over international airspace and over other countries. So the vertical nature of these tests have been showing how far they can actually go. Another thing is the issue of solid rocket fuel, noting that it's now making it quicker to assemble. The other thing is the hardening of the batteries themselves, meaning that they're going to be easier to defend and easier to hide. Also, a new panelist or a discussion that happened in Australia over the weekend suggesting that President Trump is actually more dangerous than North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. There are more stories that we don't have time for in a video. If you'd like to get a 30 to 40 minute version of the news, I will send it out to you audio form if you are a subscriber at RadioFreeSpeech.com.